Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tracy with TR's Tarot Talk 1111. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am so grateful that you are here. If you are my old standbys, I am so grateful you've stuck it out with me through thick and thin. <laughs> and for those of you who are new to my channel, I just wanted to um, kind of give you a little bit of a, a download of who I am. Um, I the types of readings I do are very spiritual in nature. I usually won't tell you about, you know, whether your car is going to run this week or or should you, you know, pay the electric bill before the water bill or, you know, that kind of stuff. I am a spiritual teacher. Um, I channel the twin flame, divine masculine, divine feminine energies, um, soulmate contracts, uh, karma. A lot of my readings deal with, you know, karma. Um, and ascension, most definitely the ascension. A lot of us have been awakened to the ascension path, and that's my mission work. I am here to help lead you on that. So um, take a look at the channeled message I uploaded t two days ago, which was today's Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, okay, because it's very important and it, it is relative to what's going on um, in the spiritual community, okay, at this time, what are, what's our mission work, what are we working on, okay, and uh, so the theme of this new moon is actually um, finding clarity about what's, what's our next step, you know, how we know that we're up leveling, we know we're graduating, we know our vibrations raising, <clears throat> but where do we go from here, okay, so hopefully these messages will answer that or at least give you um, some insight on the questions to be asking the universe, right? Okay, so this is for Libra, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Um, cross watchers know that spirit knows you're watching, so it might be your energy you're peeking on instead of your person's. <clears throat> I apologize, I'm losing my voice. Um, also, the contest, I put on the community page a poll on what day and what time would be best for the live feed. It'll be my first time, so I hope, you know, I can figure it out and it, it runs smoothly. We're going to be drawing 10 names out of a bowl or a hat, and uh, we're just going to sit and chat together, have some fun, and I will be choosing 10 people to win a free 20 to 30 minute um, psychic tarot reading. So I'm excited about that. So go over to the community page and answer the poll. And uh, if you're in a different time zone, I'm in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. If you're in a different time zone and you can tune in, you know, you can do the con conversion of times, um, please do that. And if you aren't, then you can watch the playback. And I will be listing all 10 names in the community section after the live feed. Okay, so I hope you win. All right, Libra, let's take a look at your reading. Oh, by the way, if you would like a personal private reading, the link is down below. This is some heavy energies we're dealing with, and if you need help navigating them, and you know, this is a collective reading, so it may or may not resonate, but I can look at your personal um, energy and be able to help you work through just about anything. Okay, also I want to thank Charlotte. Charlotte, I almost forgot to say it. I got to say it in every video. Thank you for the deck. This has been such an awesome gift. Okay, the Power of Surrender Cards by Judith Orloff, MD. A viewer named Charlotte, I won't give her last name, she contacted me via email and said she wanted to donate a deck to me because she saw another reader using them and really liked them thought they would work well with my type of readings so I sent her a P.O. box and she sent the deck to me thank you Charlotte we are incorporating that in today's reading I'm going to bring you down to your reading now um, I'm using the John Howland Psychic Tarot uh, for past present future energies and I'm clarifying with the Psychic Tarot of the Heart also by John Howland okay all of these decks, I can't remember what they all are, guys. I don't keep the boxes, but you're welcome to research it. Just take a screenshot, and I'm sure you can do an image search. Okay, 
So down here is advice from spirit, and here is angels and ascended master messages and your release message. Okay, so bottom of the deck. On the Psychic Tarot is the Eight of Cups, Emotional Withdrawal. And then on the bottom of the Love, Psychic Tarot of the Heart, I mean, we have the Devil card, which is Heal. And I love it in this deck because, look at he's ascending. <laughs> he's just started. Whoever this person is, he's just waking it up. He's just got it in his toes. It hasn't reached his head yet. Okay, but there's like this the shape of a cosmic egg behind him. I feel like whoever this energy represents, whether it's you or a person that you're dealing with or a situation, it's changing. Look at the cross over his heart. It literally looks like a cross, right? And the chains have been broken. And there's a ball of light. I think the cross is the trajectory, right? It's the ball of light is going to the heart. It's not there yet, guys. Whoever this energy represents, they're going through some stuff right now that is is awakening them to their their inner ability and strengths. And they are ascending. And you know, I see the cosmic egg behind them. It's it's like um an incubation like maybe even the dark night of the soul there's an incubation going on here energetically this person's healing they're healing they're breaking addictions they're breaking free i'm hearing they're breaking free and they might be walking away from something too i don't know if that's your energy or someone you're dealing with let's take a look Ooh, heart chakra didn't i tell you somebody's healing here guys look at the heart Heart chakra. This is profound. I really like this. Let's see what's clarifying the heart chakra. Look at the master. This is the devil again. Oh my God. And look at his heart's in a cage. This is an energetic cage. This, this is not a real cage. Look at the man... The way he's holding his hands makes me think of energy healing. You know, when I do Reiki or energy healing on somebody, I put my hands above the light body, right? Because we're, you got to heal the meridians before you can get to the physical body, right? So this person is in a healing. Wow, this is really profound, you guys. Look at the colors. If this is you, oh my God, I know this has got to be scary and painful, but wow, is it a beautiful gift. Look at all the greens. Look at all the greens, guys. Your heart chakra is healing. Yours or someone you're dealing with, this is really, really, really strong energy. So this is your recent past. So where are we at in the now moment? sacral chakra choose your battles okay so what i'm seeing here is with the sacral chakra okay i never read like this so this is really strange that i'm getting this message but with the sacral chakra that's what this person's doing with the eight of cups they have emotionally withdrawn themselves they have gone inside and they are speaking to the creative source whatever that is in their life whether it's a preacher or a, a monk or a teacher or god or the universe or you know there's so many names for creation right but this person is healing their heart and learning about their worth right sacral chakra this also could be sexual too so it could be, just could be, for some of you that you have been, I'm hearing ignited, catalyzed. Uh, somebody has struck your match. And it 
inadvertently has spiritually, spiritually activated your chakras. So in the 3D, in the, the physical experience, this has shown up as passion. And passion is fire, and it can be anything from anger to hostilities to love to sex to to inspiration creation um so many things oh my god i just feel this so strong for you guys you are lit up you've been lit up libra you've been lit up and you are on a spiritual path whether you know it or not and you might be feeling if you're not awake to the spiritual aspect of this lifetime if you don't realize that we are all one unity that is fractile and experiencing. I'm sorry, I'm hearing so much for you. I can't even carry a thought. So, yeah, you whoever is resonating with this reading, this is your this is your path. This is you have been awakened through whether it's through a person, which could be a twin flame or a soulmate that has a contract to awaken you at this time and to light you up. And it's, it's dealing with old wounds and emotions of the heart, childhood wounding. Somebody's heart has been broken. And spirit, through this, through this experience, spirit is now healing your heart, all your chakras. I'm hearing all of them. But the two that were most prevalent is it's like you needed that that inspiration. You needed that fire that showed up contractually through a human. You needed to be lit up by that person to motivate you to take a look at your karmic patterns. What have you been repetitively stuck in for years? Well, it could be days, months, years, decades, <laughs> lifetimes, okay? Th this is like the rapture. <laughs> I don't, I mean, as a spiritualist, I believe the rapture is the moment when you know what you know what you know, and nobody can take that from you, right? So what do we have as your outcome? Look at that spiritual strength. I'm telling you, this is spiritual for some of you. This has been your wake up call. Nine of wands. It's like you were at the end of your rope. I'm hearing your life was, was just so broken, so boring, so unpat, no passion. It was just nah. And it's like your soul came here for experience. Your soul came here to experience true love and the first kiss and the touching and the, the smell of flowers and the vibrant colors in the skies. And yes, hardship brings heartbreak. And I think you're leveling up. I think you're getting an opportunity to heal all that. You're doing some mirror dating. Look at this girl. This is the Four of Cups. Just breathe, right? I don't feel like a missed opportunity. Usually Four of Cups to me in the standard deck feels like a missed opportunity or a no, like somebody's giving somebody a no. But if that's the case, it's not no. It's no for now because this person is healing. This person is learning to love themselves again. They're recognizing that everybody in their life that told them they couldn't be, they shouldn't be, they'll never be, lied to them. And they have been awakened. Somebody, somebody has been touched by a soulmate, whether it's a twin flame or, or, or a soulmate, you know, Contract. I'm hearing contract. So somebody's awakened you to uh, do some inner work. Possibly this person triggers you. Um, they're your mirror, right? They're mirroring back to you all your fears. And 
because you're triggered by those fears, you are having this experience and you really, really need, you need guidance right now. If you are not awake and you don't know how to, to meditate and listen to your spirit guide, you might need some guidance right now. Okay, so stay tuned, watch your videos, reach out if you need a private reading. This is the ascension, but this is the hard part. This is the dark night of the soul. This is the coming out of the dark into the light. This is spirit working on all of your chakras, introducing new ones, downloading light codes. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if you haven't been seeing number sequences like 11, 11, 111, 222, 333, etc., Okay, this is, I recognize this energy. I've been there, guys. This was last year for me, and this was painful. I had to let go of a lot. There was a lot of sacrifice that happens with this devil energy. And it's funny because the devil in other decks does not have this energy. This is a breaking free. I see this. Somebody has energetically captured your heart. And this could be an ex, this could be somebody from the past, but they've been holding your heart energetically for a long time. And they might be back. They might be your catalyst. They might be your twin flame. They might be a soulmate. Okay? But what they're doing is they they have a contract with you. That they would do this to you for so long that when they show back up and touch your life... You start wondering why you allowed this person to hurt you for so long. And yet, they always had your heart. You loved them unconditionally. It didn't matter. No matter what they did, no matter how much it hurt, no matter where it took you, you still loved them. And they knew that because their higher self, their soul did this for you, right? It feels like they're assholes and they're really hurting you, but they did it for you because they're helping you face your giants. You know, look at the different colors here. If you associate them with the chakras, you have the sacral chakra, the heart chakra, and the, cra uh, the third eye chakra, right? Which is also, like the, the blue one is almost purple at the bottom. So it's the, the third eye and the crown chakra. You are being balanced, my friend. Balanced and healed through this process. And if you don't know what you don't know, then you are going to probably have a lot of fear right now. But it's all being done for you, not to you. And if you need help with this, please reach out. Okay, let's see what your guidance is from the Oracle cards. Friends and colleagues. Okay, your tribe. I'm hearing find your tribe. Because when you go through this kind of energy, when you go through this kind of energy, nobody's going to understand it unless they've gone through it. Okay, every single soul gets the opportunity to spiritually awaken and, and, and be on the ascension path. Every soul. But it's not every soul's season. Just like a seed has to be fertilized, it has to be ready, it has to be perfect to, to be in season, to, be har you know, to reap the harvest, to plant the harvest. So, friends and colleagues, you need to find like-minded people. People who uh, understand and people who can help you. People who have been there. People who have already done it or are doing it. Okay, you need to align yourself with some new friends. And when you go through this process, there are people that just drop out of your life. You'll have a fight with somebody You'll you'll because you've been mirror dating, right? Now you're starting to see your value, your self-worth. People will trigger you and you'll have to decide, do they get to be in my energy? Are they part of what I'm trying to create for myself? And if they're not, they will just disappear, honey. I'm just telling you. You'll, you'll get in a fight. You'll quit talking. You won't quit loving, though. You won't because you're new. You're, you're awakened. You're part of the whole now. Or you're getting there. You're engaging in higher reason. This is ascension higher. Your love is lifting me higher. 
than I've ever been lifted before. Sorry, spirit talks to me in songs. Okay, clean it up. This is what you're doing. You are the caterpillar going into the chrysalis. You're probably not going to spend a lot of time out in nature. Well, you might. I don't know. It depends on where you live. But I know when I went through this, it was the dead of winter. It was so cold out. I longed to be outside and I couldn't be uh, because of various reasons. I had had shoulder surgery and, you know, whatever. But anyhow, when I went through this, when I crawled into my chrysalis, I'm telling you, I was alone. I needed to be alone. I couldn't handle other people's energy. I had to go to a room that was my space and my space only and go through really some very deep childhood wounds. Okay? So clean it up. That's what you're doing. That's what spirit's doing. They're cleaning up all your chakras. You are being prepared. Prepared. You have a mission. You have... You're a warrior. You're a spiritual warrior, and you are awakening. Look at this person has been asleep. They've been burdened. They've been holding this up for a long time. And look, out steps the hierophant, out steps the guru, out steps the preacher, the minister, the knower, the medium between God and heaven, the person that you guys are going to teach. You're going to get to the other end of this, and you're going to teach. Whew. Sorry, guys, I'm channeling. So what angel wants to talk to you? It says innocence. Look at the angel loving that baby. That's part of the process is healing your inner child. You know, the first eight years of our lives are the most provident in informing our belief systems. So for some of you guys, music too. I'm seeing musical notes. Music plays a part in your spiritual learning. Music and hearts. I'm seeing music notes, hearts, and this baby. It's, it's called innocence. Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in truth, as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. Give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any guilt, anger, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. And that's what you're working on. You're, you're healing your heart, guys. You're healing your heart. And there's somebody or something, a situation, could be a parent even. I mean, it's not always romantic. But there's somebody that's triggered you. And, you know, in this card, it says... Give us your feelings of heaven, heaviness so we can lighten your load. Nine of Wands is about um, heaviness, right? It, it's it's feeling you're the wounded warrior, right? You've been through many, many lifetimes learning this karmic lesson, and it's graduation day. That's what I'm hearing. It's not a day, honey. It's a season. It's going to take some time, so be gentle with yourself, too. And know that, that your angel's here to nurture you through this. You're going to have to spend some time alone in the chrysalis. All right, so what are you releasing? Your defenses. Ooh, yeah, because nine can also be a defensive card, the nine of wands. Surrendered defensi defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So you've been triggered. <laughs> you've been triggered. You're in pain. You're thinking about... You know, Joe Blow and, and Sarah Jane and, and all the people, all the faces over many years or perhaps lifetimes of people that have broken your heart, that have hurt you, that have found you, have judged you and found you lacking. And Spirit's saying, you were born in perfection. It says, everyone is guiltless in truth as no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection. There's nothing wrong with you. That was a projection from those people onto you. But somewhere, somehow, you adopted the belief system that you deserved it. And that's what this spiritual awakening is doing, is it's going to teach you not to be so guarded. Your heart chakra has been shut off for a long time. You've been bored in love. There's been no pa passion, no fire, and probably no sex for a long time. And somebody's touched you. And you are guarded, girl, boy, girl, whoever, you are guarded. So what Ascended Mastered wants to help you right now? 
Oh, look at and more of the yellows and oranges, guys. Sacral and um, solar plexus. Hope, love, and acceptance. Love is yours. Recognize your divine worth. Choose loving thoughts. Yep, you got to change the way you talk to yourself. Your inner dialogue has got to always be, I love you. you. You're guiltless. You're blameless. You've always chosen the best way that you knew how to choose. And if you didn't, you can forgive yourself for that. I mean, your inner dialogue is very important right now in recognizing your value because you've been awakened, my friend. Okay, I'm sorry if this doesn't resonate with everybody. Check your uh, moon rising and Venus signs because I feel like this is a very, very personal reading for somebody. Maybe many somebodies. But if it's not yours, it's okay. Go check your other signs because whoever got this reading really needed to hear it. Okay? I love you guys, and I will see you the next full moon. Uh, well, I, I post fun stuff in between, but uh, my serious reads for, for spirituality will be at the new or the full moon. Okay? Love you. Bye.